Welcome to the Department of Dental Informatics introduction to seeing emergency patients on the oral surgery rotation. The purpose of this brief video tutorial is to familiarize students, residents, and faculty with the fundamentals of the oral surgery emergency patient process. With the emergency patient checked in and seated, navigate to the patient's EHR. Click the folder with the green plus to open the chart add tab. On the left of the chart add tab, select macro codes from the category list. Click on OSERP, oral surgery emergency patient, and click on the plan treatment icon. This will open a treatment macro edit window, which is pre-populated with codes for limited oral evaluation, a pano, an extraction, and nitrous, all of which can be edited or deleted. If the patient is of record, you will not use the macro code as the extraction will most likely already be planned and they will not be charged for a pano or exam. If you will be extracting more than one tooth, select the extraction treatment code, enter the total number of teeth to be extracted in the quantity box on the left, and click on the blue check mark to modify the record. This patient will not be given nitrous today, so I select nitrous and click the red X up top to remove it from the list. When you are finished modifying the treatment codes, click OK and your patient's odontogram will appear. Note the code above the odontogram and select the teeth on which you would like to perform the indicated procedure and click OK. Returning to the Treatment History tab, click on the Add Note button on the right side of the EHR window. Make sure Template Note is selected and click OK. Click the ellipsis to the right of Code, expand the Oral Surgery tree, and double-click on the Surgery Permission to Proceed Template Note. Fill out the PTP note and click OK. After you have filled out the Permission to Proceed note, Click on the teal box with the patient's chart number at the bottom of the screen to bring up the patient approvals window. A faculty member will review the planned procedures and, if everything is correct, will approve the treatment. After approving the treatment, the permission to proceed template note that you filled out will appear, allowing the faculty member to review and approve it. Note the red icon at the bottom of the patient's chart, which indicates that there is a consent to be filled out. This will go away upon completion. With the treatment approved, click on the Add Patient Consent button, select Add Patient Consent. Click the ellipsis to the right of the consent field and choose TXEXT for Tooth Extraction Consent. Double click the consent, click OK, select the extractions, and once again, click OK. You will see a preview of the printout which contains the patient's information and the list of procedures that are to be performed with the corresponding tooth numbers. You can print out the form at this point if the patient would like a copy for their records, or after discussing the procedures with your patient, you can just close the window. This brings up the signature window which requires three different signatures. The patient, the supervising faculty, and a witness, which is usually the student performing the treatment. After the treatment has been delivered, you will navigate to the Add Note button and create a template note just as you did earlier. With Template Note selected, click OK, click the ellipsis next to the code field, expand Oral Surgery, select Oral Surgery Treatment Rendered Note, and complete the form accordingly. Mark the treatments as complete and check the patient's transactions module to ensure all procedures have been applied to their account. After four to six weeks healing time, the patient will return for their alveoloplasty. In the patient's EHR, click Chart Add and in your quick list, scroll down to Oral Surgery. Click D7311, which is an alveoloplasty with one to three extractions, as we extracted three teeth in the previous appointment. Click the Planned button, select the site, and click OK. Staying in the oral surgery category, scroll down to Other, select a D9230, nitrous oxide, and again, click the Planned button. Again, create a PTP note as you did with extractions. With the PTP note completed, faculty can approve the planned treatments. With the approval of your codes, return to the Treatment History tab to add consents. Just as before, click on the Add Patient Consent button, Select Add Patient Consent, click the ellipsis to the right of the consent field and choose TXEXT for Tooth Extraction Consent. Click OK, 
select the alveoloplasty, and click OK. Again, you can print out the form or you can just close the window and move on to the signatures. And one more time for nitrous consent. If a guardian is signing for the patient, enter their name here. If there is no guardian, you can leave this field blank and click OK. Review the form with the patient, close the window, and Axiom will again require patient and witness signatures. With the procedure planned and consent signed, the patient is now ready for their alveoloplasty. After you have completed the surgery, be sure to complete another treatment rendered form. Finally, when the patient returns for a follow-up, which is the no-feed procedure code D69999, you should use the addendum form in the oral surgery template notes to record your findings. This concludes the Department of Dental Informatics Introduction to Emergency Patients and Oral Surgery. Thanks for watching.